There's no such thing as work-life balance. None! Just fucking do it. Subscribe now. Success leaves clues. And I've added the phrase in recent months, uh, uh, seen is be uh, believing is seen is believing. And the primary reason for the, um, the webinars today is not the reason that I started them many years ago. Uh, I started them many years ago because you could relate to a regular person. Hope I thought. I was wrong, though. You know, a, a regular Joe. And today we're going to see Peter the, ho the uh, hospital magnate, and who I thought was as normal a human being that we've ever come through here that got super rich as normal. He didn't have any attributes. He didn't speak that well, although I'm told he speaks eloquently in Hungarian. I don't know that, okay? I got to take that on somebody's word. And that didn't work. Originally, I put up... Um, Josh Kim, well, fuck, if a 17, 18-year-old kid could do it, I, I mean, everybody should be relate to, relate to that. And God, he's got no education, he's got no qualification, his only asset is a 15-speed fucking bicycle. I was wrong about that. Because then you thought he was fucking uh, Michelangelo. So at the end of the day, as, as Graham said yesterday, live, uh, that um, they just did it, and they followed the steps. He said it four or five times. And the reason they say that, guys, is because they're the only ones that are successful. They follow the steps. I'm not saying the slum landlord's not going to be successful. I'm not saying that. But that's not our model. There's, uh, there's 100,000 of his ethnicity in the greater London area, or southern England that are doing exactly what he's doing. At least 100,000. Remember, if you can't be first, you got to be different. And even though this kid doesn't believe me, I know there's 100 people doing what he's doing. At least 100. Absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. If you pay the kind of money that they, you think is a lot of money, which is not, uh, and you don't listen to what I say, it's just like you reading those books that you never took action on. Why? Because you're not where you want to be in life, and either in your gut, in your heart, in your brain, or your wife, or significant other, what are we going to do the rest of our lives? sit in this two-bedroom um, apartment that we rented from the slum landlord? We gotta, you got to do something, so you pretend. And that's why I call you pretenders.